you, Pepe coming to you, Captain Awesome's Fish Room, Jeff Combs Pro Vibe, bringing y'all a special video today. I got my package in from Imperial Tropicals, and I just wanted to go over the exceptional packaging job, and just the, the overall greatness that comes from this company. So, take a look at this, and we will be right back with the awesomeness to come. Okay guys, so we're back, and here's the box they were shipped in, uh, very well insulated, heat pack was still warm, uh, heat pack wasn't placed uh, directly on top of the bags, which is, uh, you know, kind of a, in my opinion, it's kind of a no-no, because it can overheat the bags, and that can create problems in and of itself, but um, they use this kind of insulation here, which holds its heat very well, it's actually still warm. Uh, from being in that box, so that's awesome. Uh, so just to let you know, Imperial Tropicals definitely knows how to package fish. Now, inside of here, you will see the fish that I got. Now, you can't see them very well, but I'll go ahead and tell you what they are. They are rhino, ple rhino plecos, and you can see that I have them in a bucket. Now, I first opened the bag and then I, uh, well first I did float them to acclimate them to temperature uh, and guys honestly and truly that only takes about five to seven minutes to acclimate the water inside of the bag to the water temperature inside of the aquarium. It doesn't take 20-30 minutes guys. That's just, I'm being honest with you. Now, you know, it may be different in salt water or something like that, guys, but I've been acclimating fish like this for years, and I can tell you that it really does only take five to seven minutes, maybe eight minutes. And <clears throat> I opened the bag and I poured them in there. You can see one of them, act I mean, you can see both of them in there. Just, I mean, they're swimming around, active, happy. And what you do is you set up a drip line from your tank that you're going to put them in, right use one of these water irrigation drippers right here you plug it into the airline and you start a drip just about like that okay now this is also gonna you know continue to acclimate them to temperature but it's also going to get them used to the environment that they're going in now is that to say that they're gonna be uh, hundred percent acclimated to the environment inside of your aquarium that they're going into no it's going to give them an idea as to water the, as to the water parameters that they're going in. So, uh, as far as those uh, rumors and stuff that you hear that it takes weeks to acclimate fish to uh, the aquarium that they go into, that is absolutely correct. But in order to not give them such a shock when you just uh, acclimate temperature and then just dump them into the tank. Uh, this is going to give them a little taste and get them a little more used to it. So, of course, they're still going to, you know, it's still going to take them time to get used to the water parameters inside of the tank. Uh, but this is definitely going to help in the process. So, what you want to do is you want to drip acclimate these guys uh, until you barely see any more blue water inside of your bucket here. Now, what that does is uh, you know, it puts them pretty much inside the water parameters they're going to be staying in, uh, gets them kind of used to the environment that they're going into, along with uh, continue to get them used to the, to the temperature. So, uh, you know, this process can take anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes, uh, you know, 45 minutes if you want to. It only takes 10 to 15 with me. Once it fills up so much, I'll take the water down, I'll, I'll scoop it out, and I'll take it down uh, to where they can be flat on the bottom of the bucket, and then I'll let it go up one more time with that drift rate. Uh, then I'll take them out of the bucket and I put them in the tank, okay? In my opinion, and uh, the, opinion, the opinion of a few other well-respected hobbyists, this is definitely the best way to acclimate new fish to your fish room. Okay, so 
With that said, I'm going to finish acclimating these guys. We'll come back and we'll look at them inside of the tank and, you know, get an idea of how, uh, you know, get a better idea of how, or what they look like anyway. So, there you go. You can see them swimming around. They're happy, vibrant, just swimming around saying, oh, yay, we're in our new home, blah, 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 blah. So, Yes, guys, Imperial Tropicals, uh, definitely, Mike is definitely a man of his word. Uh, definitely got these fish here, I mean, fast, and definitely cook, took care of his customer. And I'm a new customer, this was the first time I've ever ordered from him, uh, so by no means is there any favoritism here, so if you've been looking at Imperial Tropicals, guys, go ahead and order from him. They definitely have a great selection of fish, uh, especially plecos, have some very beautiful plecos on there. And with that said guys, take a look at this and we'll be right back to finish up this video and look at these guys inside their new tank. Alright guys, so we're going to get these guys added in. I just wanted to show you what they look like before they scurry off and hide until they learn their new environment. Check these guys out right here. These are rhino plecos. Gorgeous. Alright guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all are thinking. Be sure to go check out Aquatic Support Systems on Facebook, like that page, and go check out Imperial Tropicals. Order you some fish, guys. You won't be disappointed. With that said, hope you enjoyed today's video again. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all are thinking. This is what I'm doing. This is what I've done. And we'll see y'all next time. Stay true to the hobby, peeps. Peace.